Welcome to Lakeland Healthcare. The health system we know as Lakeland Healthcare today serves patients through over 40 points of service, including four hospitals, several outpatient facilities, and numerous medical practices. We provide compassionate, high-quality care to Southwest Michigan residents through every stage of life. But Lakeland's tradition of serving our community isn't new. In fact, the entities that comprise Lakeland have been an important part of Southwest Michigan for more than a century. Let's take a look back at where Lakeland began and how we arrived at where we are today. At the end of the 19th century, Dr. Henry Voorhees Tutton, a Chicago-educated physician, was serving patients in Benton Harbor. He was able to garner the financial support necessary to open the area's first hospital in 1899. It began as a modest facility with only six beds in a two-story house and would soon become known as Mercy Hospital. Across the St. Joseph River, Dr. Theron G. Yeomans opened the St. Joseph Sanitarium in 1915. The sanitarium was purchased in 1936 by a nonprofit group organized by community leaders known as the Hospital Association. Frederick S. Upton, whose family began the Whirlpool Corporation, served as the first president of the association. Over the years, both Mercy and Memorial Hospitals grew to serve the people of Southwest Michigan by adding new services, technology, and doctors in many different specialties. In 1951, Memorial Hospital, named in honor of World War II veterans, opened on Napier Avenue on the bluffs of the St. Joseph River. Lakeland Regional Medical Center St. Joseph stands in that very spot today. Although the two hospitals were successful over the years, the leadership of both organizations recognized an opportunity to better serve their neighboring communities. In 1977, Mercy and Memorial merged to become the Southwestern Michigan Healthcare Association, a single organization dedicated to providing top-of-the-line patient care for residents of the Twin Cities. The foresight of these leaders began what would be decades of growth and integration for the Lakeland healthcare system. Throughout the years, Lakeland Healthcare, the entities it comprises, and the people who led them have had their eyes on the horizon, always seeing a better future with the goal of ever improving the care and service we provide to our patients and our community. A few points of interest in Lakeland's history illustrate that driving force. Lakeland Healthcare and the hospitals located in St. Joseph 
have been helmed by only four board of directors chairs in over 60 years. Frederick Upton, Lester Tiscornia, William Johnson, and Daniel Hopp. Their long-term commitments to the organization have resulted in the medically excellent, financially strong healthcare system we have today. Doctors John Carter and Clinton Wilson introduced the first in-state tri-county computerized electrocardiogram network in 1969, housed at Mercy Hospital. Round-the-clock emergency care has only been available in St. Joseph since 1970. Volunteers partnered with Dr. Richard Linninger in the early 1970s to begin a blood banking program with the Red Cross. Prior to that, donors were called, sometimes in the middle of the night, to come in and help save a patient in an emergency. The first coronary bypass surgery in Berrien County was performed at Mercy Hospital in 1973 by Dr. Alfred Louis. A cancer center was established by Drs. Rudolfo Bacalor and Betty Koshi at Mercy Hospital in 1975, an early indication of the organization's commitment to cancer care. The Marie Yeager Cancer Center in St. Joseph is named in honor of an oncology nurse who served patients in southwest Michigan for many years. Medic One Ambulance began Berrien County's first advanced life support unit in 1977. Prior to this, patients were transported to emergency rooms in funeral home hearses. Lakeland Community Hospital Niles sits on land purchased from the Potawatomi Indians. The hospital's first name, Powatting, means crossing in the river, named for the low river water that was easy to cross near that site. The Cigar Store Indian in the Lakeland Community Hospital Niles lobby was purchased at the Chicago World Fair in 1933. Lakeland Community Hospital Niles was the first medical facility in Michigan to adopt the plane tree philosophy, a concept that promotes a home-like, less clinical hospital experience for patients. Lakeland Specialty Hospital Berrien Center began as a poor farm in 1846, a place where those without financial means could live. Southwestern Medical Clinic has provided missionary physicians to communities both locally and around the world on hundreds of mission trips in the last 40 years. Lakeland Community Hospital Water Vliet is built on a former apple orchard, thus the inspiration for their original logos. Even in ancient times, people cared for others on their life journeys. In medieval times, Travelers stopped at places called hospices for food and lodging. Over time, hospices became known as way stations for sick and dying travelers who could go no further. Today, Hospice at Home, a Lakeland healthcare affiliate, serves patients through life's transitions. The Health Park in St. Joseph, started in the mid 1990s, sits on almost 100 acres owned by the healthcare system, which will allow for future growth. The first parking garage in Berrien County was built at Lakeland Regional Medical Center St. Joseph in 2008 on a filled-in ravine. Joseph Wasserman served as president and CEO of Lakeland Healthcare for 25 years, retiring in 2009. During his total 34 years with Lakeland, he managed with fiscal prudence and an eye toward growth. He was recognized nationally for his leadership. The Medical Residency Program was launched in 2011 in partnership with Michigan State University, allowing Lakeland professionals to train new generations of caregivers. The electronic health record adopted throughout the system by 2012 cost $60 million to implement. It made health records available to patients and allowed for better collaboration among caregivers. Lauren B. Hamill, M.D., Lakeland's current president and CEO, was born in what is now Lakeland Regional Medical Center St. Joseph. Before a career in hospital administration, he served as a family doctor for over 20 years in Berrien Springs. Although much has changed since the days when Dr. Henry Voorhees Tutton set up Berrien County's first hospital in Benton Harbor, one thing has stayed the same. Through Lakeland Healthcare, our communities can still count on finding excellent, compassionate medical care at a great value, close to home. Lakeland is proud to make a difference in Southwest Michigan, 
and looks forward to caring for our neighbors for years to come.